could pick i'm trying to call to see if i could pick up my box myself instead of waiting for it to be delivered to me It's two eight four Um, Anita Pingy and the address is one hundred North Wilkesbury Boulevard, lower level A, Wilkesbury PA one eight seven zero two. You're welcome. Yeah, but it's like over like maybe 45 days late, right? So, because it came from China. So, I was just wondering if I could just actually just go get it off of that truck like right now because it's 10 minutes away from me. Is that a thing? Oh, so... Okay, okay, I understand. I just wanted to be proactive, so I'll just wait till Monday. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay, thank you. I did not agree to take no survey because I have nothing nice to say about FedEx and me even giving him a survey with his customer service, it would mean that I actually gave a damn and had a good experience about my overall experience with customer service and I can't afford that. So as I sit here cleaning out crumbs in my car with the old business card, I realized that the more of the story is I gotta fucking wait. Patience is a virtue. I can't do nothing about it. It's nothing I could do. It's nothing I could do. What? <laughs> Only thing I could do is get get a better wig. Like seriously, that's all I could do. So, ladies, that said, pull up on the jeans. Ain't happening. Roberto said it's FedEx ground. That ain't even an option, and I ain't finna argue with nobody. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the things I can do. Enjoy the rest of my Saturday. Finished whatever orders. Remember, Black Friday, 7 to 14 business days for orders to even be fulfilled. We talk about business days. We're not talking about weekends, holidays, none of that. So I appreciate your patience and support. And hopefully on Monday, I could bust out with some jeans. And stay tuned. Bye. Okay, so y'all saw me call Roberto. Okay, minding my business, going about my day, you know, not letting anxiety win. I'm gonna win, right? So I let it go. But see, I like to think that some people have anxiety for a reason. I have anxiety because I know I can only count on myself and information that I have in front of me. Any Thing else is assumptions and it's hearsay, it's whatever, right? So I get a text message saying that the fucking jeans were attempted to be delivered when FedEx clearly says they don't deliver on weekends, they only deliver on business days. Saturday is not a business day. And again, this is, I, I'm in a business uh, building. So unless you have a key, you're not getting in after hours. Why? I don't care that they said they delivered it today. Why does it say the next attempt is going to be on December 7th, which is Tuesday, and not the fucking ship date that I've been seeing and snapshotting for the last fucking three, four days, saying December 6th. So now I call FedEx, get another lady. She tells me, don't worry about that's an automated message and to ignore that it's showing in her system that it's not coming until monday 
Now, anybody who does customer service knows that if you had been looking for any little fucking package from FedEx, funky asses, they would have told you to refer to the most update to um, update information, tracking information on the website. Customer service, not about to use their customer service tactics on me. Like, I don't know better. So now I'm looking at the most up-to-date information on the website. It is says Tuesday. So why is this bitch telling me motherfucking Monday? Why? Let's look at it. Let's let's look at the um stuff. So we got it. Tuesday here. We got Monday here. FedEx. Y'all like to give y'all small businesses ten thousand dollars. I'm pretty sure a half of that ten thousand dollars that y'all have given your recipients has gone to bullshit mistakes that you have made and that has cost that business more than the ten thousand ten thousand dollars that you have given them. Do better, FedEx. Do better, FedEx. Do better, FedEx.